Hooray! Hooray. Yay! There's a lot of stuff going on, and I don't know how Lila likes that. <laughs> Please don't blow up. Please don't. <laughs> yeah. So, Dragon Age. Yeah, I'm waiting for the dragon. For the loud dragon. For the loud... Obnoxious dragon. dragon. Oh. Uh-oh. Uh-oh. Oh, did the dragon unalive? Maybe. Live, dragon. Live! It's not gonna be Dragon Age Origins when there's no origin. <laughs> oh, oh, yay! Gosh. It's so it's, loud. It's so loud. <laughs> the immersion. Okay, there you go. There you go. All right, let me get, in the, get into my position oh. here. I, I am. And we're doing the Tale of Orzammar. Yes, correct. Okay. Now you just let me know if you have any problems. Okay, I will. Mine seems to be doing okay right now. So the first ones we're doing is Salona and Alum, right? Yep, the extra mage. Yay, mage time. She is Ooh. human. Yours is an elf. Yes, my little tiny seven-year-old child boy. Um, <laughs> I realize that in Dragon Age lore, he should look human because he's technically a half-elf. Mm -hmm. But for the sake of argument and for my immersion, I'm still going to make my half-elf kid oh. an elf. Elf. Yeah, you can't take that from me. <laughs> okay, so... Oh, greetings to you, too. Oh, God. Greetings. Oh. Greetings. You Greetings. are hard to look at. All right. She is 26 years old. Let's go ahead and... Yeah, he's got make, a head, all right. Make her semi-beautiful. <laughs> Don't worry, guys. He'll be pretty when I'm done with him. Oh, that's rough. <laughs> I said he'll be pretty when I'm done. Oh, I was talking about... <laughs> Let's give her a little blush on uh, the sides. Yeah, oh, my goodness. <laughs> it's like he ate the sourest candy of his life. <laughs> So, you're not giving him any tattoos, right? No, I'm not giving a seven-year-old tattoo. Okay. <laughs> I'm going to change her hair to... Look at his little braided things inside on her hair. So, what color hair does little Alum have? Well, since he's supposed to be the son of Dalen Amel and Rhea Serana, I figured I'd give him closer resemblance to my hawk. Mm. Maybe. So, no dark hair? Oh, I will be giving him darker hair, yeah. I'm, okay. I'm not there yet. Gotcha, gotcha. Try to see her eye color. This game has a hard time of figuring out eye color. Think that's blue? You will be bald. I think he looks scarier with what? hair. Hang on. What have you done? You just made handsome Squidward. Him. This is how I preset everything. <laughs> <laughs> I can go fast. Nah, she's not going to have tattoos. Let's see. And I'm not going to mess with any of the overbites like that. <laughs> I guess I'm now just working on the portrait. So go ahead and change her to the reddish. I wish that color. I could zoom closer to his uh his beautiful elf eyes. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, you can't. It is hard to see the eye color. I'm just guessing it's blue. Gosh, those pictures kill me. There we go. I think this is good for Anti. <laughs> Holy. It's going all according to plan. <laughs> that chin can just unalive people. <laughs> what do you think of Auntie? Does she look good? I have to zoom in. Hang on. <laughs> I have your screen really tiny so that my computer doesn't freak out. Gotcha. Yes, I see. I like that hairstyle. Yeah, I do too. With the little braids. I use it for one of my dwarves. Or bands. This needs to be as big as possible. Otherwise, the kid's starving. Yeah. Looks malnourished if you do that. Yeah, but I don't want him to. I mean, he has been on the way. run, so who knows when the last time they have ate. So, oh yeah, I need, I need to go through her voice. I didn't switch her voice things. Oh, I didn't either. I I forgot to switch it. Greetings. Greetings. Ugh, wow. Spell. Charmed. Greetings. I have lost my concentration. Greetings. Well, that didn't work. There. Greetings. That's <laughs> Yuri's. That's fucking Sasuke's voice. Is it the violent Sasuke. one? Sasuke. Sasuke's a kid. Yeah. Yeah, that's the one I use for my city elf. <laughs> there we go. <laughs> yes. Are you ready? I guess. Does he look like a small enough seven-year-old to you? Yeah. It, it, you gotta work with what you got, you know? <laughs> okay. Now to put in the points. No, that's fine. That's fine. Easy is also fine because we're only here yes. for the story. Just for the story. Oh, going in. Oh, I guess I am. <laughs> Whoa. So loud. Dragon Age Origins. Tell the Okay, here we go. I gotta read. 
Tapster's Tavern is the one place where all levels of uh, rigidly something dwarf, whatever. Okay, as such, it is an excellent place for deals to be made, often yeah. of a somewhat illicit nature. You've heard word that a dwarf noble of wealthy means is looking to hire an adventurer for a small fray into the deep roads. It should pay well and perhaps give you some insight into the politics of Orzammar, knowledge that can be worth far more than gold. Wow, it's noisy in here. Mm-hmm. Love talking. <laughs> okay, so before we talk to anybody, uh -oh. well, I guess I'll talk to Orson. Belch, by the stone, I'm drunk. You, you seem like a smart sort. Any idea what I was doing? We gonna have another drink, sir? Of course I was. I'll do mine. Uh, you're gonna go home and sleep at all? Yeah, you're probably right. Let me just have a few more first. <laughs> At least he's agreeable. Yep. <laughs> okay. I I don't think you can actually talk to anybody else. I think they're just You're here light for an notes. adventure. Whatever you're proposing, I'm not interested. Try and back. There's a man offering to... Yeah, they're just leading us back here. <laughs> well, aren't you a tall one? Good thing Orzammar is built to accommodate golems. Excuse <laughs> me, ma'am. I am seven years old. He's just tall for his age. So You want to drink? Ask a waitress. I'm seven. Hey, hey, you can drink you... more. They probably have more than just beer here. They probably got water or something. I'm sure that they do. <laughs> All right, well, I'm going to stand on this table. And after you That's get off the table. That's very seven-year-old of me. <laughs> <laughs> Yay! Bouncy, bouncy, bouncy! We need to go on this adventure, don't we? We need to earn money to get to Taventure. I don't want to go to Taventure. I heard that there are mean, bad people there. <laughs> Yeah, can I get you a ladder? So you can get off <laughs> I my back. forgot this voice set. <laughs> yep. <laughs> so we're going to be trying to get some money so we can head to Deventer. So we can meet your mom and dad there. I've never met them. I have no need for them. <laughs> but I've given you those notes from them. Don't you want to oh, meet yeah. them? <laughs> well, why doesn't my dad ever write me letters, huh? <laughs> he doesn't know where you live. <laughs> well, I'd say so. I'm seven years old, and I ain't never seen him, so. I'm surprised you can read. Took me read. away, put yeah, me in the no. chantry. <laughs> You're here. Mm -hmm. That was after they moved me from the chantry to a new mage circle. Somewhere. Somewhere out there. <laughs> somewhere. Oh, that's right. Orle, because we had to go over the, the frostback. Right, and, that's and then where we we're came out. Bar. Yep. Now that we know our lore and our backstory a little mm -hmm. and what we're doing and why we're here i think we can talk to the man okay let's talk to right. the, this dwarven noble ah a surfacer perfect you have some business to discuss with me i'd like to sign up for your expedition you're ambitious i like that it's not a good idea to go off into the deep roads alone even the Grey Wardens only do that when they've decided it's time to die. There's some able lads around this place. You should recruit one to assist. I have an option for... What about your man there? And leave Ber... Er, my employee, unguarded? <laughs> Small though my house might be, we have enemies. Same as all the others. If I could spare him, I wouldn't need to hire you, would I? And then I have... Good idea. I'll be right back. I'll be waiting, but don't delay long. Talk to Orson. Yep, Orson. Okay. Uh, it's the same dialogue as before, but now yep. we have a new option. I've got a job, and you're helping me. Really? Yeah, okay. Who's an adventurer? Sounds about right. Yay! <laughs> that was easy. <laughs> <laughs> adventure. You don't need much negotiating, I guess. <laughs> well, I mean, he's awfully drunk. I mean, yeah. All right, let's got to go back to Bert here. Hey there, Bert. <laughs> <laughs> well, we don't know his real name, so Bert's a good one as any. <laughs> Are you ready to proceed to the deep roads? Yeah, I'm done here. Yeah. Very well. Let us go then, with all due haste. And we're off. On to the deep roads. We're here. Oh, Orson wait. says, all right, let's kill something and drink it. Wait, what? We're drinking it? I guess. He's a drunk, so. Mine's saying, whoa, dizzy for a moment there. How did I get here? Yeah, I see it. <laughs> Talk to Burr. The notes I found indicate the artifact is in a tomb in a ruined taig. The taig was sealed off from the deep roads when the darkspawn overran it, but this tunnel should lead to where it once was. Just go through here and see if you can find it, then return here. The notes say the tomb is protected by a puzzle, but you needn't worry about trying to get through it. You're hired for the brawn part of the things. We're in robes, and you're a seven-year-old. <laughs> I'm seven. Whee! You like it zoomed out like this or zoomed in? Oh, goodness. I don't like that. Oh, can you do that? I don't like tactic Yeah, you cam. can zoom all the way out. <laughs> I don't like that. You don't like it zoomed out? Uh-uh. Yeah, uh oh, what's nice. that? Auntie! Auntie, I killed my first dark spawn. Ah! 
I'm fighting Dark Spawn. <laughs> I'm seven years old and I took down a Dark Spawn. <laughs> Good job, nephew. <laughs> oh yeah, I'm gonna be super strong. Just you wait and see. Not for and the thirst of blood. Me. I must kill more. Oh no. <laughs> <laughs> Don't tell Orson, he might drink it. Do you think my parents would be proud, Auntie? Well, I have they're... no frame of reference, for I've never met them. <laughs> I I'm I'm sure they're quite proud of you. Oh, Orson, you coward! <laughs> Don't run behind me, I'm seven! <laughs> oh goodness, Hunter Morse's Orp. Orson just pushes the kid out in front. <laughs> Punch him like you mean it. Auntie, there's a dead body. But it has a novice lightning oh. rune on it. Oh, mine has money on it. You have the money. I want this cool rock. <laughs> I got new clothes. I did too. Oh, it's so much different than my old clothes. My old clothes were purple and blue and they looked neat. This is oh, brown. Mine's brown too. <laughs> yeah, this looks really like we should be able to go through this. Mm hmm. Well, they just reuse certain things. Like, mm -hmm. yeah, so he should be able to use the shield. And here's a nice hat for you. There you go. I can there give him go, this buddy. long sword, shield, and this hat. Ah, protect thy bald head. <laughs> Are you ready, nephew? Yes, I am ready to go. <laughs> Down the corridor. Can we uh -oh. go anywhere over here? It saved no. game. Orson, did you find anything? Orson can't even find himself. Uh-oh. Dark spawn. Watch out, nephew. There's dark spawn ahead. Oh, no. Oh, spiders. I, I need to be closer. I'll just lean over and grab that. Uh -huh. okay. Ooh, Orson. We found weaponry. Nothing I can use. But you might be able to. Oh. Give you this nice axe. There you go. Yeah, why didn't I get a cooler staff? Yeah, I didn't get I didn't get anything good out of it. <laughs> Mages don't get nothing except that robe. I wish I had a hat. <laughs> <laughs> I too wish I had a hat. Uh oh. More spiders. Excellent. Yay, More spiders. good job, Orson. Anti, Anti, I leveled up. Yay, good job, nephew. Ooh. Boots. And knockback. And I can speak so well. <laughs> I'm so glad you can speak. <laughs> Me too. Oh, Orson, you're just getting all the nice stuff. Get this heavy armor on you there. There you go. Oh Ooh. my gosh, we're lost. Oh, more spiders. Yeah, that's not what I want to hear when I'm lost. <laughs> nephew, get close. <laughs> what did you find, nephew? Uh, a warden recruit shield. Oh. It wasn't that great. <laughs> it's okay. <laughs> ah, dinosaurs! Long neck dinosaurs? Yeah. It's <laughs> on a worm dinosaur. Defend me, Orson. <laughs> ah, more Orson behind you! I'm sorry, Orson. I found them. They're weird worm faces. <laughs> oh, I found the PC Gamer magazine. All right. A strange tome made entirely from glossy, colorful oh, paper. Thanks. Let's check it out. Where are we checking out? The uh, codex. Oh, that's says... a lot of words. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, I'm not going to read all of it. I'm just going to read the top part. Okay. Uh, the team behind Bioware gives PC Gamer the inside scoop on which origin story is their favorite, and which one might be right for you. Oh, it's all of them though. You got the Dwarf one, Commoner, Dwarf Noble, three, the Mage, four. Dalish, yep. Elf, City Elf, Human Noble. Yeah, that's that's all of. Them. How are you where's, supposed where's to choose? Where's the the Mage one? We can read just one since that's ours. Okay, currently. hang on, let me bring it back up here so you can read it. Oh, oh hey, look. Who am I? It's David Guider, the lead writer. His favorite origin is Mage. Why, <laughs> you should pick it. It's so seldom in games that you get to see how your magic user became a magic user. Finally, you get a glimpse into what life is like for mages inside their secluded towers. They're distrusted by everyone, and here you get to understand why. I'm also a sucker for the Fade, the dream realm where a good portion of the mage origin takes place. I like the idea that demons battle over psychic real estate, and their desire to possess a mage's soul comes purely from a place of envy. I like that psychic real estate. <laughs> <laughs> you just put your hand over a mage player character. It's free real estate. It's free real estate. <laughs> <laughs> the desired demon just 
Hey. <laughs> How you doing? <laughs> you can hold so many demons in this body. <laughs> I didn't go this way yet. I'm gonna run down here. Okay. Ah, spiders. More spiders. Yeah, you get them, Orson. Oh, Orson, you get gloves. Yay. <laughs> Orson's like, yeah, you guys are spoiling me. Oh, <laughs> stop it, you guys. Oh, I can Please wear these stop. gloves he was wearing. I have gloves now. <laughs> Uh-oh, more dark spawn. Uh-oh. I'm coming after you. Orson, I found oh, you a whole I found thing. the dark spawn. That's okay. Like I that. I had all this. Take this that. Alright. Isn't going to be me. This should be easy enough. Orson, you're just getting spoiled. There's so much here for you. <laughs> there's like nothing uh -oh. for mages. I like these structures. The dwarven structure. Orson, there's a door. Hello? <laughs> ah, it's a trap! <laughs> I stepped in a trap. I'm gonna make Orson step in all the trap. <laughs> Why should a seven year old step in a trap? Just there's take his leg. <laughs> it would take the whole leg. Yeah. Uh, it goes all the way up to the knee. Oh, Orson, let me heal you up here. Uh-oh. More dinosaur worms. Uh-oh. Dinosaur worms. I like their little runs. It's cute. <laughs> I like their little squeaky pig noises. Yeah. <laughs> I would have liked the scene what they'd use to make those noises. Okay, I'm at the bridge. I yes. I'm crossing the bridge of lava. Or oh, over the river no. of lava. Is it lava or is it honey? Cheese. Cheese. Nacho cheese. Oh, oh gosh, where's it going? It just goes under the boulder and disappears. That's where it goes. That's cool. It just goes under boulders. <laughs> Auntie, the cheese river was amazing. Oh no, more dark spawn. Oh no. Get him, Orson. The emissary can heal. Yeah. Found that out the hard way. Ooh, about got me. I was over halfway gone there. Hey, look, lyrium. Should I drink this? Uh, maybe? <laughs> sure. How do, how do we feel about a seven-year-old consuming uh, lyrium? We'll leave it alone. We'll leave it alone. He doesn't need it. Whoa. <laughs> Let's not. What did you find? Oh, that's what you found. Stop. What that? supplies? Ah. Well, we might as well use our med supplies. We don't know what's behind this. I'm going in. Going in. Ah! Go! Oh my gosh! Nope. Oh, oh gosh! It Get it, Orson! Uh-oh. He doesn't like me, Orson. We did it! We did it! And it fell before me. I don't <laughs> know if I am excited that I helped kill a golem or if I'm terrified. Where's its pocket? It's just stuck in the, the, the crevices. The crevices of it. Like it's 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 rock crack. Rock crack. <laughs> oh, Ooh, lyrium. Woo. Whoop. Oh. Well, well, a golem. This wreck is going to be a pain to clear away. And I'll have to carve some clues to solve this puzzle. My sibling's a bit dense. You... What are you doing here? The plan isn't quite what I originally led you to believe. There is evidence of a lost artifact being here, yes, but I'm gonna plant it. I don't have many men I can trust enough to this task. Not enough to risk these dangerous tunnels, so I sent you on ahead. But I'm seven. <laughs> a surfacer nobody will miss. Those above ground will assume you're still below. Those below? Well, I don't think anyone will care enough to pry. In any event, I'm not going to explain myself further. There's no point to it. You're tired and battered from fighting Darkspawn. You've got a drunk at your side, and if you somehow happen to best me, you'll be on the run for the rest of your life. Just hold still. It'll hurt less. Oh, oh no. no! Betrayal! Get his little guy first! <laughs> I got his friend. Faster! Am I too quick for you, he says. <laughs> I mean, you could be a little quicker. You or me? Isn't going to be me. A little bit faster. Oh, we did it. Yay. Oh, his buddy's alive. Okay, okay. You You're tough. I can respect that. But you know too much. Man. We're at a bit of an impasse here. Uh, I'll let you go first. <laughs> impasse? You're doing nothing. One, right? I'm winning. Oh, I've still got reserves. Mark my words. Always keep something up your sleeves. I'll use them if you push me. Let's see him attack. No! No, Auntie! No! Run, nephew! Bleh. Bleh. 
<laughs> Orson, how could you kill Auntie Salona? No, now I am but a seven-year-old all by himself. The she was already rolling the credits. Yeah. <laughs> okay, uh, well, perhaps we can cut a deal. Indeed, if you were to go to the surface and lay low for a while, that served my purpose well enough. Of course, I'll have to ruin your seven-year-old reputation down here to make sure you don't sneak back in, you understand? <laughs> Why would I say no deal and attack? I just saw Orson take down my aunt. <laughs> You have a deal. All right. Orson just has a dagger quickly. to his back right now. <laughs> <laughs> Get out of here quickly before I change my mind. I still have a lot of work to do. What are you waiting for? Run already. I am running. I was looking at the lyrium. Okay, I'm going. I'm going. Stop yelling at me. <laughs> Goodbye, Orson. <gasps> run. Run. Run, nephew. Yay. <laughs> Yay. He made it. He made it. It was short. Ta-da. Short and sweet. Indeed. <laughs> so, are we going to see Alum again? Maybe in the future. Oh. So what is next on our list? I think we are doing the Dwarven Commoners next. Yay! Yay! We we'll see more about dwarves. <laughs> we are doing the all the origin stories, yeah. but we're doing them in order from what we think think would happen like if if duncan had to go around and recruit one from right all of one the at areas. a time after high ever you'd have to go to denerum and then i'm assuming that's where he would originally meet talk to king kaylin mm -hmm. and then when they're all reconvening towards ostagar he would travel down past the Dalish Elves, and then, because that is the most pressing of origins as you leave, like, <laughs> on a time limit, mm -hmm. uh, he would go directly from there to Ostagar. But as we complete the origins, if our character survives the origin story, we're going to assume that they're also traveling around with Duncan. So if you hear us talking about them, <laughs> like, when we reach a new area, it's because, wink, wink, they're there? <laughs> In spirit. <laughs> in spirit. <laughs> They're with him in spirit. So we can figure out what their opinions would be if they were actually witnessing the other origins <laughs> after their own. So are you ready for Veilguard? <laughs> Not until we're done. But yes. <laughs> so are there any of the origin stories that you are excited to do? I'm excited to do all of them. Well, I didn't know if you had one in mind yet that you were particularly thinking about doing. or I mean, if you're asking which one I'm going <laughs> to go with once we reach Ostagar, I, I do. I have one in mind also. But we're playing through all of the origins yep. up to Ostagar, and then we will only be playing through origins once. Yeah. Currently. All right. Next time, we will be doing the Commoner Dwarf Origin. Woo! Yay!